Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. You get back here repair here for another. We're gonna work on my son's. It used to be mine. Uh, somebody uh, bought it, never brought it back. <laughs> my son's, I think it's a 2000, 2001 XR70R. Here's the bike. It's got a. Needs the tire. Tire's flat. I think the carbon needs to come off, which is way down here. I think there must be a old fuel or something in the in the carb. Does not want to stay idling. The first thing I think we gotta get off is this uh, shield. Number ten. Ports mat. Ports mat's got something stuck to the back of this thing to show up. Maybe picked up some jerk. Oh my. Eight millimeter. I grabbed a ten. Give it an eight. Get this. Get some uh chain tension has gotta come off. And uh chain's gotta come off. Before I can remove this, I don't know, there's a bolt sticking to it. There we go. I'll put these back in the hole. That way I don't forget. I don't forget where they went. It shouldn't be too hard to get this tire off. The brake assembly is going to be probably a little bit rougher than the rest of it because I usually try to leave the brake assembly there. And so that's off. I'm gonna get on the magic link. Oh, that's right here. Cool. I see the side split on. Handful of, handful of a safety clip. The safety clip broke. Nah, maybe not. She's on the chain a little dry. She's uh, the belt dry you can get. Wow. Because he hasn't driven so long. Where the heck is my mat to kneel on? I want a new one. No clue. I know I bought a new one. Hang on the wall. Drop that down. Now we just gotta get these ten tensioners off here. I think that looks like a ten. Yep, get them tensioners off of there and uh, then we gotta get out the axle. I can uh, fire this floor and I can uh, pop them out of the slots.
So I don't think I need to take this uh this rod off of the brakes. I think I can leave them right there hanging on the the pin. Now we'll find out I guess. We got the big nut over here. Looks like a 14 on that side, like a 17 on the other side. It's a big one. Very close. It's a 14 and a 19. I don't know if this will have enough to remove this, but. Okay, get the brake loose on this side. Oh my gosh. She's tight. I got space and gotta watch the dump for fine somewhere. Tanks in there. This one on this. This one. Okay, with the axle. Probably for something to do this over the. That way I don't have to hold them all. Of course it is. I've got the other one that'll be way too long. Let's try that. Just want something just so it's tight. will stay suspended so I don't have to hold it. Clips off the plastic. Something down you. You got stuck in there. Right, we got ourselves an extra axle. Everybody's got one anyway, man. Right? Uh, hammer. Get some persuasion. Let's stuck right at the beginning. Clean that off before it goes back in. Thought I had that extra axle. It's it's not rusty. It's just like gummy. This stuff I can just leave kind of here. I don't have to take it off the bike. He's off. It sucked the tube in. Nah. Alright, I'm gonna bring you back home a minute when I get this tire off the rim. I've seen me change tires before. There it is down there. Get this off the rim. Bring you back. Once it's gonna be a short one on tire change. I see what happened. He must have ran it low. You got this valve stem. The whole valve stem turns in circles. So you try to take nut off and uh, it's not attached to the rim, the tube no more. <laughs> so I'm gonna end up having to take this tube out, put the tire back on so I can move the bike and go on to something else. So we'll bring it back after we get this valve stem off, which will be fun because, like I said, the whole thing is turning and uh. I'll uh, get the tire back on this bike. There it is. Seems like I said, I'm guessing he ran the tire at all. Yeah.
pull the last time right out of the tube. No patch in that. All right, we're gonna get this tire back on. We're gonna go on to get the carburetor off. All right, tires back on the bike. Uh, I just tighten down everything temporarily because, uh, whoops, except for the tension because I don't want something to fall off. Now I'm looking for it <laughs> later on. Going to the car, we guess. I'm not sure if I can get this off without without removing the seat, but we'll find out. Oh, I guess I can put this chain right on too. I don't know, five sixteenths I think, or eight millimeter. But that don't need to be laying around either. Like I said, any part I can put back on, I'm going to because then I'm not responsible to find it later. Walmart paint. Change the washers here and the paint flakes off. <laughs> had, had to be that top quality Walmart paint. Let's see if I can turn. I put it on the table. First of all, so I can turn it. Check it off. I can lift it up to a normal height here. Some like the fuel on. I had this table up for, for sale for about two weeks now, and uh, I can't believe I haven't had nobody uh, want because anybody doing lawnmower or motorcycle or even small four wheel repair, this table works perfect for. Alright, we're gonna have to get. Slide out of the carburetor. Throw that. Which is semi stuck. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. nope. Messed up something. Let's, let's get the carburetor loose here. Find some rags or something to put underneath this. It says it's non ethanol on it, but it doesn't. It sure doesn't smell like it. Got a 5 16th or an 8 millimeter on either side. And I'm looking at uh, 10 millimeter. Alright, rough the bench. Just gotta grab the socket too. Grab a 10 millimeter socket because uh, it's a lot quicker than the. If I can use the impact in here. Let's put it on and take it off. Right? That works. One there. Seems like this one on this side wasn't that tight because I turned it with a wrench first and it was pretty loose. Oops, I guess I should get the fuel one off first. Put that bolt back in. I'm going to be torquing on this with a, with a bolt back in. I don't want to be going on a fuel line with no bolts in the car. Now we didn't torque it. 
Get in here, go click, 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 click. And we got you down too far here. Yay. Awesome. It happens. Always perfect. Had some guy comment the other day on one of my videos. Believe it, but uh, to the not professional. Never claim to be a professional. It's a backyard repair. So something anybody would do in their backyard or their garage. Anyway, if you come in on your bolts holding the car on, I put them back in. I'm gonna get this fuel line off first. Might have to get out the heat. Heat gun, which is right here. Just to soften that line up a little bit. I think it's a. It's, it's like original. Nope, it's not original. There's a wire tie on it. Alright, son, why don't you just get with a longer hose? If it ran behind this wire, come up with a bigger, longer hose. <laughs> I guess it works. I soften up the line a little bit. I don't break it. Like buddy. Like buddy. We're gonna go too far with this uh heat gun because if it's just dirty, you know. I need to put it back on. I need that heat gun to put it back on. But yeah, he could have ran it right on this thing here. I have to. I don't think I have one. I might have. I'm gonna have another line for this. He said it's not that all, but it doesn't smell too uh, kosher here. Yeah. Whew. It's only been. I guess. Yes, it has been. It hasn't been about a year since uh, we really used it. Guess that would make the fuel go bad. And there's no. Oh, yes. Let's see, there's no more ring in it. Gotta have that. Yeah. It smells like really, really bad gasoline. Let's take her apart and see what's in there. Back you up here. Hey, right, get some tools out the way. Let's see what's in here. I bet this is delightful. But it smells of the uh, gas on the outside. I bet it's uh, real pleasant on the inside. No. Huh. Guess that's not nothing there. Tip you down a little bit. Can't see. Yeah. It doesn't smell too good, I can tell you that. My screws are even like gummy. They're original too. Ooh, I can. I don't know what I cut myself on. Oh, I know what I cut myself on. The little bar that was on the back of that uh, magnetic mat. Cut my finger just a touch. Right there. We'll survive. Let's get something soft in here. Wonder why it wouldn't run. It's trying to run on water. Woo! Kid, you, uh, I don't know, you got to start it all on that. He did get to start, it just went idle. Alright, we're gonna get rid of this. Alright, right, we got it cleaned out. That's what the smell was. It wasn't the, the fuel, it was this carburetor. Cleaned out now.
That one went straight through. I felt it on my finger. Uh-oh. I think we might have a clog jet here. Foot working? Nope. Foot staying where it was. Uh, kid, she's pretty sticky even though the footballs are sticky to the gum. Wonder why. They shouldn't, the gas shouldn't affect them. Oh, it is goo. Maybe you might have to take a Q-tip and spin on the drill and clean out that seat. Seat's clogged solid. Low speed jet is clogged. All right, we finally got the seat cleaned, or the new, the low speed jet cleaned out. I'm gonna run a, got myself a Q-tip, it's in the drill, some, uh, Car plant on there, but I'm out. I have to do something else. This won't hurt the feet, so. Look how dirty that is. Oh, what have we got over here? Hmm, starting to pull a little bit. Just trying to break up some of the shellac that's in the seat. See that? Whew. I did it on the other side, but I'm going to flip it over and do it again. This came out green the first time. There's no more. Let's give me some more uh, car clean. But like I said, anything to break up this shellac will help. Try not to use brake things, because brake things are a little harsh on it today. <laughs> Alright. We'll find out in one second here. Even the, the overflow straw turned green. I don't know how my kid got it to run off of that fuel. Well, now it's dropping. Well, it seems like I'm getting any airflow through it. See if I get a line on here. Hopefully, I'm picking the end that I didn't just fill up with a. Brake cleaning and everything else, trying to clean this yet. It's clogged solid. Glad I checked. Blow some air backwards through this thing. Alright, we got the back on here, put a hose on the side here, and uh, now it's working. They came out like, like a black gum. I blew it backwards, not into the seat, out of the seat. I don't think my son would have a problem with He thinks this carburetor uh, is not OEM, so uh, he wants to get an OEM port, but uh, it definitely wouldn't uh, over, it wouldn't have uh, overflowed on them and leaked because it was clogged solid. I know if I don't pull this high speed jet out all the way and check the. Check the emulsion tubes. I'm gonna regret it. The jet's clear. Of course, I don't have a wrench for that. It's pretty small. Oh, looks like a socket for it though. Yeah, right there. 
Well, I got to take it off with, though. I thought I had the screwdriver out here, but I guess I didn't. I'm not hitting it with an impact, I can tell you that. Just want to be sure the this thing's clear all the way down. Yeah, see, it's got some green on it. That would just cause some run issues on the high end. You got a wire here. Clear. That was clear. Probably just have one that would go all the way through. Oh, there we go. Went through. Went through. Went through. Off. They have a brake cleaning, so I want to get the brake cleaning off because it's a little heat flash in there. Yeah, okay, she's clean. I wish I had some more stuff to put on this. Uh, it looks pretty good down in there, dude. It looks, it looks clean. It looks like it was just around the, it just stuck to the brass. Working it hard there. It is only brass. This was down. The high speed jet back in here. Even the straw has got like this shellac on it. Take a screwdriver and scrape some of that off. It's green from the water. It's not green from the gas. Not this. Not this side. I guess I should make that sure that works too. Everything else is gummed up with whatever uh, that was in there. Nope, that works good. No problem there. No problem with the overflow tube or straw. So we're good there. Must have been below that. Well, of course it was below that. The float wasn't working. Try to put it on backwards here. There's my JIS. As far as this came out, usually you end up using a pair of uh, vice grips on them to get them started. Yeah, the hits of these are not too good, I can tell you that. The guy I got this from was a repair shop. But it came with a very, very low compression. It was the had a bent valve. Okay, got a straw back on here. The end, I, I didn't put the brake line around. She's mushy from the brake line. Hard to tell inside the bowl if it's uh, actually working again. All right, well we can always uh, yeah, brick clean eat the heck out of this hose. We can always uh, I got some fuel I can inject down the, the tube and make sure it's running in the carburetor. 
<laughs> that brake cleaner, they just hose like mush. So I said I don't like using it in the carburetors too much because I get on the O-rings on the bottom here, they swell right up. All right, hang on one. Minute. All right, we're gonna inject a little uh, two-stroke in here. If I can get it in the tube, so I can get to pull down into the syringe. Take that tube off. Put this tube on. Just wanna get some fuel in here to see if the fluid's open. I have a feeling that it's, uh, it's pushing back against me. I have a feeling that the, the needle stuck to that goo that was in there. Awesome. Fuel falling in. Get this off. It's off. Let's open the overflow here. Make sure I did get fuel inside. Can't say that the fluid's shutting off, but at least I know the fluid's opening. Yep, there goes the gas at the bottom. On the rag here. It's just two strokes. Right there. Get this tube off. We'll get the off. Try to get this carburetor back on. Yep. Bring it back over here to the edge. Get the camera turned up this time. All right, we're gonna get this reinstalled. Hang on. All right, the car back on. We're gonna take a sample of this fuel. Make sure that water wasn't in the tank. I think it came through the air filter. Yellow, but I don't see any water. No, I don't see any water in it. Just, just it's dark, but I don't see no water. All right, we emptied some more uh, my now ethanol fuel in here. Got a half a tank. But it's just a little dark. Doesn't smell like it bad. Get a sample here. Right, and I can see if it works on the whole settings. No, it does not. Still running out, but not on both sides. It run out when it's up, but not as good. Put this fuel line back on. I know I said I was going to change it. I don't know if I have any line though. I can check, but I don't think I do. Matter of fact, we got the fuel line back on. Now I know why I'm a sudden headed short fuel line. It's got a huge end on the petcock and only a small one on the carburetor. I think that's also why he's saying that this carb doesn't uh, belong to this bike. We'll see. I see if it'll start. My son needs to kick it over by hand. So I'll try it.
Probably not too safe up here, but I'm going to try it anyway. No, we're not. We're going to let it down before I drop it. Not my bike. Dropping the motorcycle. I tip you down a little bit. Sticky goo that was in there. I think uh, some took this carburetor out. Uh, doesn't sound like fuel's coming back in. Yeah, no. It was. It was. It was pretty bad. I don't, I don't know what it was that ate it. That's all fuel or what? He's gonna be sending a reasonable kit for this one. So I'm pretty sure my son said he ran not an ethanol in this thing, but it does not smell like it. Whew. Gas smells horrible. Oh, there you have it, folks. Get the tire off, get the car for <laughs> Uh, we we'll have to do a part two on this one. She's uh, uh neglected. That's all that's the word we got for it neglected. So, there in the dropped it off about a year ago and 
put it in my backyard and talk to it, and that's just where she sat. Not nobody driving it, nobody doing nothing to it. So, <laughs> so when you get fixed, we're gonna have to wait for a car to be built kid on this, or he's gone. I think he's trying to find an OEM car. Anyway, if you get information on this video, please like, share, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Eugene's Backyard Repair on them. Pick part, probably a funny video. Your girl thinks of nature, screenshots, for I find all kinds of cool stuff like that. Please give it a thumbs up if you would. Make a comment. Anything helps. And get the videos out there. Share. Pick up a couple couple views I see per video. Not, not a lot, but just a couple. I appreciate every one of you. And we're out of here. Peace. Yeah, she's going to need a carb rebuild. It's a shame. Alright, we're out of here. Peace.